Hi, I'm Shelly from Dream Abroad and in this video I'm going to tell you about which one of the Isles is easier, British Council or IDP. Also I'm going to tell you about my own experiences and those of my students. Actually to start with there are a lot of myths involved in this such as uh, there is one organization which does not really give you the gives you the marks in the first uh, test first time when you take the test now let me tell you about my own experience I have uh, taken IELTS from different countries uh, because I was a trainer in different countries for a long time and then I uh, then I arrived in India for some time uh, so last time when I took IELTS it was from India IDP that was uh, not because I was not uh, I didn't intend to take it from British Council it was just that I needed to take it in a short span of time and IDP was the easiest test available uh, sorry easiest date available so that's what I booked now when I went inside there were a lot of people who were talking especially students who were talking oh this is my first time I'm not certainly going to get the band that I need because they would not give me the needed band in the first attempt because they already have my details and they know that this is the first time I'm taking it now of course I knew that this is actually a myth because this does not happen. I was taking IELTS in India from IDP for the first time. To top that, I also had my passport renewed. So it was a new number altogether and I'm sure that I had not put my earlier passport and IDP doesn't really have the access to the passport office of India. So as to find out, oh, this is the new passport, that's the old passport and you know, this person has already taken IELTS or not taken IELTS. In any case, I had not taken IELTS before from them. So the score that I got in my very first attempt was 8, sorry, 8.5 on listening, 9 on reading, 8 on writing and 8 on speaking, which is of course a good score. And yes, notwithstanding the fact that I am a trainer because IDP did not know about it. So they gave me the score that much more than what I really required for migration. This was the first time that I was taking it from PR because otherwise I used to take it for the experiment's sake. And now coming on to what I have experimented. Usually what I have experimented is in a short span of time, your score really doesn't change whether you're taking it from one organization or the other. For example, if you take, I mean, I really don't want you to take, uh, may God forbid, but I have taken it for the experiment's sake. So I'm talking about my experiment, uh, my experience. And that is that and, and some other students also who had to take it because they did not really get good score in the first attempt. So if there is not much difference in the practice that you have done and there is not much difference in the performance that you are making in the test, uh, it, it doesn't really make a difference for around say four or five months time if you are taking it from one organizer from British Council let's say and from IDP in the second attempt or vice versa. So it doesn't make much of a difference. Yes, the main difference actually comes across uh, to you when, when you are finding out the time to book the date because uh, if you have really got a, a window of three months two months British Council dates might be available whereas that is uh, and later on they might not be available whereas IDP you can book the date uh, at times in as small a time span of say eight days okay ten days all right now um, that's one thing the other thing is that um, the, sp the speaking examiners, what I have personally, again, that goes with a disclaimer, that's not necessarily an authentic fact, but this is my experience and that of my students for 14 years. That's for how long I have been teaching for IELTS. So uh, the students have said that, you know, mostly the IDP speakers, uh, speaking examiners, they are, you know, uh, more comforting. Uh, they go easy with you for example of course they are not offer you water it's just that you know they're more easy going they, they smile at you a lot and at times if you're forgetting word they fumbling they might just uh, let you have that word and and you know make you easy to speak with whereas in British Council they are more mechanical in the terms that they are more strict they would be more uh, interested in listening to you and writing their feedback instead of really you know talking to you so it's more of a speaking test than a talking session so that's the main difference otherwise I really do not have uh, 
seen anyone scoring better from I, uh, IDP or from British Council. One more thing, one last thing. There are a lot of people who think that if they go to a distant place wherein people do not really speak in English very well, and their English, if they speak it, if they take the test from their own city, might, re not, might really not be extremely good in comparison to the other takers who are taking the test from that center, it may really benefit them. Again, I come back to that. Please remember you are at each second of your speaking test getting audio recorded. So you do not really end up getting better marks. You know, there is a, a parameter for each of the things that you are going to speak and you know, your words, your, uh, uh, your content, your vocab, your confidence. So there are so many things that your, your grammar so there are so many things that are being marked. So how do you really think that, you know, and, and they might very well be audited, you know. So how, how do you really think that, you know, you, they can give you better score? So do not go by this. Also, uh, lastly, remember that for speaking, you really cannot book the date on your own. So if your speaking is on, uh, say, 30th of May, uh, your, your speaking, uh, sorry, your main test is on 30th of May, your speaking can very well be on 23rd of May. In that case, how do you really think to plan your, you know, traveling, you know, or, or let's assume 23rd of May is still seven days before, so you can go and you can come back, and then you can go back to another city to take your writing test or, or to the main test. But let's assume it's just two days before, three days before, you know, because that's what is for the organizers to decide when they are going to give you the speaking test. So how would you really commute and then stay or come back? So your office timings or or, or your leaves may really be bothering you for that. So do remember that try not to experiment rather focus more on practicing and focus more on how to perform under difficult situations so that's what you have to do during the practice sessions i hope uh, your query has been well answered all the best